In this video, I'm going to be going through the best PC optimization guide so you can get the best FPS and zero input delay in Chapter 5 Season 2. Also, make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm going to be showing you how you can play stretch resolution on full screen mode instead of windowed full screen because this option gives much more input delay than this option. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your desktop and click Windows R and type in percent local app data percent find fortnite game saved config windows client you're going to want to right click this properties and untick this box after you've done that you're going to load up fortnite once you're on fortnite you're going to go to your settings and you're going to make sure that you're playing on performance mode and your frame rate limit is set to your monitor's refresh rate then you're going to scroll down even more and this is where the 3D resolution setting comes in. If you're on a low end PC I would recommend 80% and if you're on a mid end PC I recommend 90 to 95 and a high end PC you can just leave that at 100. Your view distance should be on near, textures on low and meshes on low. Next you're going to go into audio settings and make sure that sound quality is set to low because this gives less input delay in game. Also go to subtitles and options, make sure all of these are on the lowest setting and then you should be good to go. Now we're on the desktop, we're going to search for power, we're going to edit the power plan, we're going to change the advanced power settings, make sure this is on high performance, not balanced or ultimate performance. As good as this sounds, it actually reduces your performance in game, so stay on high performance. Then you're going to scroll down and click processor power management. Make sure the minimum processor state is on 100% and the maximum is also on 100%. Next we're going to search for advanced and we're going to click view advanced system settings. You're going to click settings, adjust for best performance and then custom so you can enable animations in the taskbar, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. After that, click apply and OK and you're done. Next, you're going to click your Windows key and go to settings. Then you're going to go to system. Then you're going to go to notifications and actions and make sure this is turned off and all these boxes are unticked. Then you're going to click focus assist and turn this off. Power and sleep. Make sure both of these are on never. Then you're going to go to storage and make sure that all of your temporary files are deleted. You must do this one or two times per week because as you can see I did this last week and I've already racked up 10.6 gigabytes of temporary files that are just holding up space on my PC and I don't need them. Then you're going to go to tablet mode, make sure you never use tablet mode and don't switch to tablet mode. And that's all you need to do on this page, you don't need to mess around with multitasking or any of these other options. Now you're going to right click your desktop and click display settings. You're going to scroll down onto graphics settings here. You're going to make sure this option is turned on and then you're going to browse and you're going to find where your Fortnite is located. So for me that would be program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. Now you see there's three options for Fortnite here. You're going to want to click the one with the most kilobytes. Then you're going to click add options and put this on high performance. This will make your game run so much smoother, give you way better frames. For this next option, you're going to go to your file explorer, go to your local disk C, program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. Then you're going to scroll down until you see Fortnite client, Win64 dash shipping. Right click this and click properties, then go to compatibility, make sure Disable full screen optimizations is ticked, then make sure you click change high DPI settings and tick this box. This will give you way less delay in game and make your game feel so much smoother. Next you're going to go to your Epic Games launcher, click your profile icon in the top right, click settings, scroll all the way down until you see Fortnite and you're going to paste this command from the description into this box. This will use all of your available CPU cores and make your game's FPS so much faster. 
This will download all the cosmetics before you play the game instead of while you're playing the game and this will connect you to the fastest Fortnite server to get you the best ping. Next you're going to search up system configuration and you're going to click boot. You're going to put this in between 5 and 10 seconds depending on how your PC is. My PC is really fast at booting up so mine's on 3 seconds. This will make you load into your game so much faster than before. You're going to click no GUI boot and put a tick in this box. Then you're going to go to advanced options. You're going to tick number of processors and you're going to put this on the max option. This will make sure that all of your CPU cores are running at the same time, giving you the best frames you can possibly get. After this, click apply and OK. Now you're going to go to the Nvidia control panel. And then once you're on here, you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview. Click the bottom one and drag this to performance. And then you're going to click use the advanced 3D image settings. Take me there. Now you're going to want to copy all of these settings for the best frames and the best input delay in Fortnite you can possibly get. Now I'm going to be going through a secret way to make your aim better and I'm going to be showing you how to enable stretch resolution the proper way. Now here is the secret to enable human aimbot in chapter 5 season 2. You're going to search for mouse settings, you're going to go to additional mouse options, pointer options and make sure this box is unticked. This will disable mouse acceleration in Windows 10 and make sure that your mouse has pinpoint accuracy and doesn't slow down and speed up as you're moving it along the screen. Once you've done this, you're going to click apply and OK. After you've done this, you're going to click Windows R and go local app data percent. Then you're going to find Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client. Right click this and properties, make sure that this box does not have a tick in it. Then you're going to click onto this and you're going to click here and you're going to click find mouse and you're going to search mouse. Then you're going to find it here and you see that this says false. You're going to change this to true. This will also disable mouse acceleration in Fortnite. So your aim will be so much better. Then you're going to click file, save, click out of this, and make sure that you take the read only box. The final thing we're going to be going through is how to enable stretch res on full screen mode so you're getting the least amount of input delay you possibly can get. You're going to want to go to your Nvidia control panel and you're going to want to go into change resolution and click customize and create custom resolution. Here you can adjust the resolution to whatever you want to play on. It's complete preference but I think the best resolution for lowest input delay and most FPS this season is 1720 by 1080. Once you've created this resolution, you're going to test it and then you're going to apply it. Then you're going to go to adjust desktop size and position and make sure this is on full screen. This is on display, not GPU. And this box does not have a tick in it. Then you're going to change this to your desktop resolution that you've got on currently. Then you're going to apply these changes. After you've done the Nvidia control panel settings, you're going to go back into your game user settings and make sure read only is not checked. You're going to go into here, you're going to scroll down until you find resolution size X and you're going to change this to the resolution you put inside the Nvidia control panel. Once you've done this, you're going to scroll back up to the top, make sure full screen mode is on zero. This is what puts the mode on Fortnite to full screen and not windowed full screen. Now you're going to click file, save and make sure that this is checked. Now you can see that the game is stretched and if we go into our settings we're in full screen mode. Don't worry about this saying 1920 by 1080 because that's not your actual resolution because you can clearly see that it's stretched. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for